The rise of memory recording devices. Is digital immortality real? Introduction. Imagine being able to replay your thoughts. Not a photo, not a video, but an actual moment. How you felt, what you saw, what you heard, word for word, breath for breath. This is no longer the stuff of science fiction. In secret labs and startup boardrooms, developers and neuroscientists are building memory recording devices, wearable technologies that can store, search, and replay your life. Projects like Tab, Rewind, and the ambitious MindBank, backed by figures connected to Elon Musk and OpenAI-style research labs, are pioneering tools that log your thoughts, conversations, and even emotional states. And they're not just for productivity, they may be the first steps toward digital immortality. In this video, we explore how these technologies work, what they mean for memory, identity, and mortality, and whether a copy of you can live on long after your body's gone. Memory as data, turning your life into code. At the core of these technologies is a simple but radical idea. Your experiences can be digitized. Modern neuroscience shows that memory is just a pattern. Neural activity encoded across networks of the brain. With the right sensors, processing, and AI interpretation, those patterns can be recorded as data. Words you spoke, emotions you felt, even decisions you made in real time. Memory recording devices aim to capture the stream of consciousness and save it like files on a drive. It's not just what you said, it's what you meant. Not just what you saw, but what you felt when you saw it. This transformation from organic experience to indexed, searchable memory may change how we understand truth, trauma, storytelling, and identity itself. Tab, the device that remembers everything. One of the most talked about devices in this space is Tab, a sleek, AI-powered wearable that functions as a continuous memory assistant. Worn discreetly like a clipper pendant, Tab uses onboard microphones and environmental sensors to record ambient conversations, detect emotional cues, and log moments of significance. Through a mobile interface, users can search their own life. What did John say at dinner last Tuesday? Or when did I last feel anxious? The hardware is minimal, but the impact is huge. By integrating large language models, Tab can summarize conversations, highlight emotional triggers, and help users reframe or revisit key moments with clarity. For people with ADH, PTSD, or simply busy minds, Tab becomes a second brain. Rewind, the AI that remembers so you don't have to. Another major innovation is Rewind, a privacy-focused AI assistant that records everything you do on your devices, compresses it, and stores it locally. Rewind sits quietly in the background of your digital life, capturing emails, Zoom calls, browser activity, and even what you said aloud during meetings. You can then search it like a personal time machine. Show me that article I skimmed yesterday. Or, what did Sarah say about the budget last month? What makes Rewind powerful is its AI indexing engine, which uses large models to group, summarize, and contextualize your digital history, like having a memory analyst on call. For professionals, creators, students, and researchers, it transforms forgettable moments into retrievable insight. But for many, it raises a deeper question. If a machine remembers for us, what happens to our own memory? MindBank, Elon's play for immortality whispers, are growing around a project known as MindBank, a theoretical venture rumored to involve neural engineers linked to Elon Musk's ventures in AI labs similar to OpenAI. The concept? To create a centralized vault of digitized human cognition. Imagine a secure repository where your conscious stream of memories, thoughts, emotions, and behaviors is uploaded, backed up, and enhanced by AI. MindBank isn't about note-taking. It's about replicating the human mind, a foundation for future digital clones, AI twins, or even post-death interaction systems. While unconfirmed, Leaks suggest MindBank may integrate with Neuralink-style implants, offering deeper access to neural patterns and subconscious activity. This could be the closest we've come to recording the soul. The neuroscience behind recording memories. Technically, how close are we? Advancements in EEG, electroencephalography, ECOG, electrocorticography, and fMRI scanning have given us new maps of how memories form and store in the brain. Some studies have already shown real-time reconstruction of visual experiences using brain scans and AI image generators. Others can identify the exact time someone remembered a specific event based purely on neural activity. BCIs, brain-computer interfaces, like those from Neuralink, are experimenting with text-to-thought and speech reconstruction from brainwaves. We're still far from full memory replication, but we're already building the scaffolding to record life from the inside 
inside out. Emotional context, not just what you said, but how you felt. The real breakthrough in memory tech isn't just what happened, it's how it made you feel. Memory recording tools are now integrating emotion sensing AI that tracks vocal tone, heart rate, facial tension, posture, and word choice to infer emotional context. This means you can search, not just what did I say at the wedding, but how nervous was I before giving the speech. Over time, AI learns your unique emotional patterns identifying mood trends, depressive spirals, or stress triggers, and logs them alongside your memories. This creates a deeply human archive, one that might help with therapy, self-awareness, or even emotional reconstruction after death. Memory searchability, a life you can scroll. One of the most powerful and dangerous features of these tools is full life searchability. You'll be able to filter your day by emotion. Show me all moments this month I felt proud, or by people. Find every conversation with mom last year, or even by keywords. Every time I mention regret, this transforms memory from a foggy instinct into searchable data. It enables clarity, accountability, reflection, and even legal or medical support. But it also opens the door to obsession, selective memory bias, or total surveillance of the self. When every moment is accessible, do we lose the gift of forgetting? Post-death avatars, talking to the dead. Through data companies like Hereafter AI are already offering digital legacy tools that let users record hundreds of responses to life questions, which are then modeled into interactive avatars for loved ones. Imagine your grandchildren talking to a digital version of you that remembers your jokes, your advice, your regrets, not reading them, talking to them. Future iterations powered by Rewind, MindBank, or similar tools may allow these avatars to be trained on your actual memories, not just recordings. You won't just leave a will, you'll leave a thinking, talking version of yourself. Whether it's comfort or digital delusion depends on how we use it. The ethics of recording a life with great memory comes great responsibility. Who owns your memories? What happens if someone hacks them? Can you delete trauma? Should children be allowed to wear memory recording tools should spouses consent privacy and memory manipulation are no longer philosophical questions they're urgent ethical issues governments are already debating ai rights to personal memory logs and some companies are facing backlash over unconsented data retention once memory becomes digital it becomes copyable editable and commercializable that makes your life story not just precious but vulnerable. Are we heading toward digital immortality? Rewind remembers your conversations. Tab remembers your actions. MindBank may one day remember you. Together, they form the early architecture of digital immortality, a future where death doesn't erase us, but transfers us. But immortality isn't guaranteed. We may preserve copies, not consciousness. A backup isn't a soul. A voice isn't a spirit. Still, to those left behind, the line may blur. The dream of remembering everything, never forgetting, and leaving a version of yourself that can still speak. It's no longer fantasy, it's in prototype. Whether that's eternal life or just a well-trained illusion depends on what we call real. Your life backed up. The rise of memory recording devices is more than convenience. It's the beginning of a new kind of existence where life becomes data, memories become files, and the self becomes code. We are building technologies that don't just extend memory, they extend identity, legacy, and possibly existence itself. Would you record your entire life? Would you let an AI version of you live on after you? Like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of the mind, memory, and the invisible line between humanity and machine. Because the future won't forget you, it might just store you forever.